Hi folks, welcome to the third video in this free video series by AutomationSimplify.com. The objective of this video is to download Selenium RC server and configure it in our project so that we are able to run our Selenium RC scripts. We'll go to the website google.com and we will write download selenium in the search bar the very first result that we see is from seleniumhq.org we'll click on this link okay as you can see there are a number of downloads available on this page you can download selenium ide you can download selenium RC server, you can download Selenium web driver for different languages such as Java, C Sharp, Python, etc. The latest Selenium RC download version available is 2.33.0. Here is it. Just click on it. Alright save file so here we see that the download has started I'll I have stopped the download because I have already downloaded the file once the download is complete you would notice here is the downloaded file you will notice that this file is a jar file a jar file is nothing but a Java archive file so we can also place this file at a suitable location so what I'll do is I'll copy this file and I'll go inside C drive I'll create a folder by the name selenium jars you wish you can uh, keep any name you wish and I'll copy that file inside this folder so here it is alright so what we have done is we have uh, successfully downloaded the selenium RC server now successful running of the selenium RC script or program would require two things and what are those two things the first requirement is that the selenium RC server this RC server must already be running in the background all right and the second requirement is that the selenium rc server must be properly configured in our project so to run the rc server we will go to the command prompt and then we will go inside the folder where we have placed the selenium rc server jar file so i'll say i'll move, up, move out of this folder and i'll say cd selenium uh, what was the name of that folder let me just check it out um I think that was selenium yes there it is selenium jars so I'll go um, C drive CD selenium paste alright so I'm inside the selenium jar file so if you notice that inside this folder we have the uh, newly downloaded selenium RC server jar file so I'll just copy the name and to run the selenium RC server I'll write the command as uh, 
java space hyphen jar and then the name of the rc server file which is this and i'll press enter we can see that our selenium server is started and it is listening on the port number 4444 as we can see from here all right so now to configure selenium rc in our project we will start eclipse it's being loaded all right the workspace is this okay selenium uh, eclipse is loading all right so let us say that sample project this project sample project is our current project so what i'll do is to configure selenium rc in my project i'll go to the the source folder i'll right click on it and i'll select the option build path and then the configure build path so this brings me to this dialog box and let's click on the libraries tab and then add external jars so we'll we'll go to the folder where we copied our selenium jar file here it is this is the one okay here it is you can see it i'll play okay right so what we have just now done is that we have configured the selenium rc server jar file into our project so there is one file into this source which is the test google.java so this this file does nothing but it simply automates the opening of the website google.com so now what we have done is we have we have uh, we have taken care of all the all the two points the first one was the uh, starting of the selenium rc server and then and then the second point was to configure the selenium rc server into our project so both these points are done so we can now save and we can run this project to see if our selenium rc script or the program is running fine or not so i'll click on this here we can see that the selenium rc screen is there and the website google.com google.co.in is successfully opened so this this shows that our selenium rc program has successfully executed all right okay so this brings us to the end of this video hope you can now download selenium rc server on your system and configure it in your project thank you guys thanks and happy selenium automation do visit our website www.automationsimplified.com for more queries thank you bye bye